Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to create a cut crease on hooded eyes. If you guys don't know what hooded eyes are, it's basically when you have really small lid space and the bra bone excess skin goes over your lid. When you have hooded eyes, that lid space, you can't really see your lids at all or very little bit of the lids when that excess skin goes over. So if you guys have hooded eyes, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I personally have hooded eyes and I want to share, you know, how I learned how to do a cut crease on myself, which makes it a little easier to see the eye makeup that you create on your eyes because you're basically like doing, I would I would say like a bigger lid space. That way you guys can see what you what eyeshadow colors you put on your lids because sometimes we tend to want to put like a very for example, a very sparkly, you know, shadow on our lid. And if we don't do a cut crease, you know, you're not going to see, people are not going to see what you put on your lids. Because when you're looking straight, it's just, the skin is just going to go fold over, fold over and you're not going to see anything that's on your lid. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I learned how to do a cut crease. So I also have some really exciting news, which I just wanted to mention that I'm going to be doing my 500 subscriber giveaway i also just want to say thank you all for you know subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and just giving me you know so much love and support on my channel um obviously 500 may not be a lot for some people but when you first start a channel you know 500 could be could mean a lot to you um 500 was actually my first main goal when i first um started being consistent with my channel um obviously i was super excited when i hit 100 but once i hit 500 it was like that's where I wanted to actually do a giveaway for my followers just to give back to everybody you know for watching my videos and giving me support so I'm gonna be posting a picture just showing you guys all the little goodies that I did get you guys for this um, for this giveaway as well if you guys are interested in entering just make sure you guys check down in the description box I'm gonna be posting all the rules and details to this giveaway as well as if you guys are 16 and under, just make sure that you guys get permission from, you know, a legal guardian or a parent, um, you know, to enter the giveaway. Just because in case you guys are the winners, um, I'm going to be needing some type of form to contact you guys as well as an address to send you guys the package. You know, just thank you all once again for all the love and support. And this is just the beginning, you know, once um, my next goal is obviously to hit 1000 subscribers. So that's going to be obviously the next giveaway I'm going to be doing. So I hope you guys stick around and stay tuned for that giveaway. And hopefully we hit 1,000 very, very soon. And yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing what I got you guys in the giveaway, as well as if you guys are interested in seeing how I do a cut crease on hooded eyes, just stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so these are the goodies that I got for my 500 subscriber giveaway winner. And I'm going to start off with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, which I think is a great palette. I do own one of these. And I love that it's also beginner friendly. In the back of the packaging, it shows you where to place your colors, like your transition colors and all that stuff. I also have the Wet n Wild primer water in the scent Rose, which is my favorite right now at the moment. I have the Wet n Wild color icon blush, which I am obsessed with the color Peaches. Um, I love this color, especially now for the summer. We have the Palladio and Casey Holmes collab um, matte liquid lipstick. We have the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, which is my favorite right now. The Cover FX Glitter Drops, which I love for the body. Not so much for the face, but I love it for the body. But you could also try it out for your face. And to the right, I also put in a facial mask, which you could use to pamper yourselves and do your skincare. And as well as a 10-piece brush set with cosmetic bag from BH Cosmetics. Okay, so all you're going to need for your cut crease is going to be a brush, which I love this Anastasia number 18 brush. This brush has made it so much easier for me to, um, to do a cut crease because I would use another brush before, which was kind of similar but I feel like with this certain brush it was just so much easier for me to, uh, to do a uh, to do a cut crease and it just comes out so perfect I already have my eyelids primed and 
I'm going to be starting off first with our crease color and I'm just going to use this brush that came in the Dream palette and I'm going to go in with the color called Boo Boo first and this is the color we're going to be using for our crease. Okay, and then for our next color, we're going to go in with a color called Caramelito. And we're just going to apply this on the edge of where we ended our crease color. So these two colors will blend in together. Okay, and then for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to mix these two colors called Libra and Gemini and I'm just using this Sigma Lash Fan Brush to apply it on my brow bone and then I'm just going with this clean Luxie brush and just blending out the edges now we're going to start off doing our crease so what I like to do um, is just put some of that concealer I like to put a little bit on the back of my hand just like that and then with your brush you're gonna grab some of that concealer so then you're gonna apply some of that concealer on the center of your lid And then what you're going to do, you're going to look up. It's going to stamp the concealer up top, which means that's basically where you're going to want to do the edge of your cut crease. So then with the brush, I'm just going to go in the center of my the center of my lid and I'm just going to make a line like that. Just starting where it had stamped the concealer and then I'm just gonna go down and just just follow the line that it created when you looked up with the concealer and you're just gonna stamp this is why I like this brush because it it's, makes it so much easier to stamp on your concealer and create that cut crease So I'm just going to grab a little bit more of that concealer and I'm just going to keep stamping so I'm just going to be stamping right above my normal crease I usually like to do the more rounded cut crease And always just make sure with compare it to your other eye that you know they're pretty even always gonna want to look down with a mirror so this is my mirror right here <laughs> you're always gonna want to look down just compare the two that they're perfectly even and just keep just perfect it just to make sure everything is looks okay I do have these two little lines that when I did look up, it doesn't really matter with um, once it's dry, just make sure that if this does happen when you look up, you get like these two little lines. I think it's from like my lashes when I look up that I got some in my lashes. You just wait till it dries up and then with a, with a clean brush, you're just going to go over it and it'll just go away. Okay, so I'm done creating the cut crease and you're going to want to wait till your concealer dries or whatever base you ended up using to do your cut crease. I obviously like to use concealer, so you're going to wait till your concealer dries before you apply your eyeshadow. 
Okay, and then I'm using this Luxie 245 small shader brush. And I'm going to go in in the color called Maya, which is a shimmery olive green color. And this is the color I'm going to use on top of where we created that cut crease. So this I'm just going to pack it on. And just build your color. You want to make sure that the brush you're using, if you if you don't have this brush, just make sure you're using a very flat brush and that's pretty rounded on the top. Because when you get to the very edge of where you did that cut crease, you want it to come out just as just as perfect to the edge. You don't want to go right above where you created that cut crease. So now that I'm done applying my, my lid color, I'm going to go in with a fluffy blending brush and I'm just, and I'm using a MAC 217 brush. Yeah. So I'm just using a MAC 217 brush and I'm going to go in with the color called Wolf Wolf, which is a dark, like a chocolate brown. And I'm just going to be packing this on the outer corner right here I didn't do the cut crease all the way because since I want to have a like smoke it out a little bit there's just no point of even doing it all the way so I'm just packing this color on and I'm gonna go in with the color um, called 805 which is I would say like a hunter green color and I totally forgot I have put this color before the chocolate brown so it doesn't really matter because I wanted to mix both of those colors and I'm just gonna pack this color on the outer corner first and then we're gonna go in with the color called Wolf Wolf. So after you apply that color I'm gonna go in with that chocolate brown and this is the color we're gonna apply on top of that green. And then after I'm going to be going in with this Luxie 121 mini tapered brush and with no color, I haven't applied any color, I usually like to use this brush just to blend out my edges. So I'm just going to blend out those edges that from the dark colors that we just used. You always want to blend out your edges that way you don't you don't see any harsh lines on your eyes and everything's just nicely blended together okay so for an inner corner highlight I'm gonna go in with that color Libra and Gemini and I'm gonna use a MAC 219 brush just to use those two colors together so this part is totally optional you guys could use glitter liner or if you don't but for this look, I do want to use a glitter liner, so I'm not going to be using this liner all the way. I'm just going to start from here and then just go halfway. Okay, and once I'm done applying the glitter liner to the edge of my cut crease, I'm just going to use, I'm just going to be doing a wing and applying some false lashes. So I'm just going to be doing that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so eyeliner and lashes are on. And so for our lower lash line, I'm going to be going in first with the color called Caramelito. And I'm just going to be using a blending brush for this color and I'm using MAX 217 brush then the other color I'm going to be using is the color called Wolf Wolf which is that chocolate brown color and I'm just using a angled shader brush to apply this and this color we're just going to be applying it from the outer corner to the center Thank you. 
And then for our inner corner, which is going to be right around this area right here, I'm going to be applying the color called Libra and Gemini, which is the same color we applied on our inner corner. So I'm just going to bring that color in a little bit more. So our eyes could look a little bit more brighter. I'm just going to be using a nude eyeliner for our waterline. And then I'm going to be applying some mascara to our lower lashes. So that is it for today's video. I hope this was a helpful video for you guys that struggle doing a cut crease on your hooded eyes. I know I struggled in the beginning and with practice, obviously with practice makes perfect. You know, you just have to keep practicing and um, obviously get the tools that you need, get the right brush, you know, and just always, you know, practice. You know, you're not gonna be perfect at the first time, nor the second time, but with practice, I promise you guys, you will guys get the hang of it. So I also wanted to say for my giveaway, um, just please check out the description box before entering because down below I will have all the details and all the rules to the giveaway. And I did want to mention also that the giveaway is going to be open for two whole weeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you're new and I will see you all on my next one. Bye guys.